Hello, welcome, 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 welcome. Welcome to what you might ask? Welcome to my review of the Happy Time Murders. Happy times are here again. So I saw the Happy Time Murders and Okay, so for those of you who are not quite sure what Happy Time Murders are, it takes place um, in a world where Muppets or Puppets, I guess, because I think Muppets is trademarked. So Puppets are living with us. Yes, they are sentient creatures. You know when the Muppets tried to do a um, TV show recently and then they had, you know, interactions and... You know, Fozzie the Bear was dating this woman and all that. So it's kind of like that. It's an adult version of the Muppets. Um, Melissa McCarthy's in it. I don't, and, uh, oh, her name just went out of my head. She was in um, Pitch Perfect. She is one of the people who talk about the Barden Bells. I usually know her name. Elizabeth Banks. Yeah, so Elizabeth Banks is in it. She has a, um, a, um, supporting role. I wouldn't even call it a supporting role. Um, and then my Rudolph is in it. Now, she truly is a supporting role. So, and then there's this puppets. People who voice the puppets, I don't know who they are. So, I really, yeah, I was like, who are they? Um, uh, so what happened was... The story takes place about this guy, Phil. He's a puppet, and he's a private eye. He was a detective on in the Los Angeles PD. He is a disgraced, so he works as a PI. Maya Rudolph plays the secretary. Girl Friday kind of role, who's secretly in love with him, but not so secretly in love with him. Um, yeah, he's a puppet, though. He's blue. He's like three foot. Maybe four. Um, and then Melissa McCarthy is his ex-partner who's still on the police force, who still is a detective with LAPD. Somebody's killing puppets that have to do with Happy Time. Happy Time was a TV show that Phil's brother was on, and it was a mainstream puppet TV show, and it wasn't about you know dancing puppets helping out kids. So that was the thing about it. Yeah. So, what happens is, Phil gets blamed for the murders, because there's more murders taking place. Somebody's trying to get... I don't want to even go into the details of the plot, because let me tell you something. The movie was stupid. <laughs> it was really stupid. There were some funny moments. Melissa McCarthy and Maya Rudolph are very funny together. I wish they would do more together, and I wish they would do... A whole movie. I would actually like to see a whole movie with Melissa McCarthy and um, Maya Rudolph. Now let's talk about Melissa McCarthy's career. Oh Lord. I mean, I think she's the Adam Sandler of this generation, of this time. You know, the thing about Adam Sandler was he could do some really good, great movies. I really in love. I really loved um, Fifty First Dates. I really liked that movie with Drew Barrymore. I know my hands in the way. Um, I really liked Drew Barrymore with him, uh, The Wedding Singer. I liked him in um, Spanglish. That was a really weird movie, but I still liked him in Spanglish. I like I like some of his movies. I mean, I can't like rattle off all his movies that I like, but some of them are good. There was one that was a serio serious one, you know, where he plays a comic, um, and so I, I I like Adam Sandler, but most of his movies are so stupid, and that's the thing with Melissa McCarthy. Most of her movies are now are stupid. Spy was really great. The Boss was okay. She does a lot of movies with her husband, Eddie Falcone. I think I think that's his first name, Eddie. Um, I just wish she would stop. I really enjoyed Spy. Spy was excellent. But that was the last good movie she was in. Yeah, to me, to me it was the last good movie she was in. She, um... <sighs> 
this movie could have been funny, but it didn't, but the I wouldn't even say the script was bad. It was just poorly produced. The puppets were terrible. Um, it didn't make sense. So I'm not gonna give away too much of the movie, but there's so so when the puppets get shot up or when they get killed or they get dismembered it's just basically fluff coming out of their body right fluff 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 coming out just that's all it is it's basically this red pillow right here that's what's in the fucking puppet okay um but then one of the characters i'm not gonna say who has to get a, a transplant an organ transplant from a puppet what the fuck are they getting <laughs> what are they getting Fluff? Apparently it's the liver. I don't know. I was like, what? This is like stuffing. So, I, huh? I, I don't know. It was weird. It was a weird movie. Uh, it wasn't, like I said, it was. I was more shocked. I laughed out of being shocked. I didn't laugh out of because it was genuinely funny. There were two other people in the movie theater with me. Tells us that, that. Now, yeah, granted it was a Monday um, afternoon because of my work schedule. Sometimes I get to see movies in the afternoon. But the same thing like when I went to see Crazy Rich Asians the second time, it was Tuesday afternoon. There were more people at the movie theater. There was, there was at least 30 people in that movie theater watching the Crazy Rich Asians. There was three of us, three of us, yeah, because I, I always like, when when a theater is not that crowded, I get a little, you know, scared, a little, uh, you know, thinking that somebody might be behind me. Because I saw this movie when I was a kid where, like, it had Tangina from Poltergeist. I forget the name of it. It was a horror movie. And, like, she, her son, I think, or her lover, or son lover, would go and, like, like go to the movie theater, put chloroform on people, and then, like, they'd take his eye, people's eyes out. And you're like, what? Yeah, it was a weird, it was a weird movie. Um, so yeah, so when I go to the movies and there's not many people around, yeah, I like to look around and be like, oh, who's here? <laughs> um, the other two people laughed kind of the same way I laughed. One of them, like, when I walked out, I, you know, caught her eye and we looked at each other and I was like, what the hell did we just see? And she was like, I don't know. She was like, I don't know. The jizz part. So the jizz part is one of the most controversial parts of the movie. So these two puppets are having sex. Fucking, I don't, whatever. And this video is not monetized. I, I mean, I'm not there yet. I'm not a YouTuber who is at monetization yet. I don't even consider myself a YouTuber yet. So anyway, there's a jizz scene. Puppets. Fucking. And then when Phil, who's fucking one of his clients, Climax is a silly string. It looks like the consistency silly string. But it's all over the fucking office. Ugh. So my thing about Happy Time Murders is it's another terrible movie in Melissa McCarthy's slowly declining career. Hopefully with the new movie she's got coming out, it, I forget the name of it, but it's a movie... Um, where she plays, a, it's based on a true story of a writer who gets down on some hard times and starts to forge uh, documents like pictures, not pictures, can, um, letters, correspondences that famous authors would have. She starts to plagiarize them and um, hopefully it's a good movie. And hopefully it helps her career. It'll probably be like one of those, it's one of those movies to say that, oh, I'm a comedic actress, but I'm a serious actress. Kind of like you and Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey to me has been the best one who could do that. Not many other comedians can do real serious. Um, and then go to do, um, you know, go from comedy to real serious. Adam Sandler did a little bit, but yeah. Anyway, that's my review. Happy Time Murders. Don't go see it. Maybe catch it on TV. And, you know, but it... Ugh, alright. Bye.